So we want to load all this data in our app. Now, how to do that? Well, first, let's go ahead and create a method and we'll call it async load all data, this one. Okay, now over here, we want to connect to Firebase. And so DB is our Firebase database instance. And then here we want to get collection. Now this collection is users collection, as we have seen there. So this collection name is users collection. And based on that, actually, we could do a conditional check. So here we do where, and then we want to check the user's ID. Now we want to get everything, but there should be a condition which is called is not equal to is not equal to token, this token. I'm gonna to explain why we write it like this. And then over here, we do with converter. And once again, we, about with converter, I have explained before, and I also have a tutorial, go ahead and check that out. So with converter, now the first one is a from JSON method, which is also like from Firestore. So here we'd pass user data dot from Firestore. That's it. Now we're here. So it takes parameters where it says user data and we'll call it user data. And there is another which is called options parameter, this too. All right. And then we just do simply user data dot to Firestore. And we are good to go. And then all we do is simply get like this. So what it will do, so it will go to this collection and then it would get data based on this ID. So as you see, this data has ID. So each of the user is, each of the document is actually a different user and each of them they have ID. Here we do not equal to token. Well, we know that this token refers to the current user. So we're gonna get all the users except from the current user. Well, on your contact list, you don't wanna show yourself, right? You wanna show other people. So that's why over here, we are taking every information from Firebase Data Store, but not the current users. Current users is the user of this app. So hopefully it makes sense. All right, so that's how you get all the users from Firebase Firestore database. And then we'll just simply go ahead and save it in a variable and we'll call it users base. You can name it anything. All right, so this will hold all the data. Uh, we should go look through it. All right, so here we do for var doc and in users base dot doc, D O C S docs. Now, why we do that? Uh, let's see. Okay, I guess we need a wait over here. And over here, you need to do that. And the error should be gone. Okay, right. Now, this all remembers documents. As I said early, each of the user is a document. Now we are looping through all these documents and then we want to add it to a list, the list that we have created early. So we want to add it to this contact list. And contact list has user data type model, as you can see. Now we'll come over here. So here simply we do state dot contact list, this one. And then over here we do add and then we'll add all the documents one by one. So docs.data. So now that's how you get all the information, all the users from Firebase database apart from your own data. And then you save it in a observable list. So once again, this contact list is coming from this state variable and the state itself has this contact list. So we go ahead and click that. Here we do see that we have observable contact list, which is user data type. So hopefully it makes sense. Now this is how you load all the data from Firebase, all the user's data.